As my final knowledge update in September 2021, I can provide you with information on the production process for some of the largest and most advanced submarines operated by the United States Navy. However, please note that developments or changes may have occurred since then. The United States Navy operates a fleet of Ohio-class submarines, some of which have been converted from Ballistic Missile Submarines SSBN, to Guided Missile Submarines SSGN. These submarines are known for their extraordinary size and capabilities. The process of building and modifying this submarine involves several stages. The process starts with detailed design and planning. Naval architects and engineers work to create blueprints for the submarine, incorporate advanced technology, and ensure the vessel meets the required specifications. Construction takes place at a dedicated shipyard, such as General Dynamics Electric Boat Division in Groton, Connecticut. Construction involves assembling the hull, installing systems, equipment, and components, and integrating state-of-the-art technology. Large hull sections were fabricated and then put together in dry dock. Submarines are equipped with a variety of systems including propulsion, communications, navigation, weapons, and life support. This system was carefully integrated into the hull during construction. The integration process was complicated due to the compact nature of the submarine's interior. Before the submarine is launched, extensive tests and trials are carried out. This includes pressure tests, system functionality tests, and underwater trials. The submarine is put through various scenarios to ensure that it performs as expected. After the submarine is ready, it is launched into the water. This is an important milestone in the production process. The submarine is still not fully operational at this stage, as further equipment and testing is required. After launch, the submarine undergoes equipping where it is fitted with the remaining systems, components and finishing touches. This phase includes the installation of weapons, communications equipment, and other special systems. The submarine then underwent extensive sea trials. These trials involve testing the performance and capabilities of the submarine in open water. Engineers and naval personnel closely monitored the behavior, systems and operations of the submarine during these trials. After successful completion of sea trials, the submarine was delivered to the Navy. Formally commissioned into service, meaning becoming an active part of the fleet and receiving its official name, usually with a ceremony attended by naval officers and personnel. It is important to note that certain production processes may differ for different classes of submarines, and technological advances may impact those processes since my last update. If you're looking for the latest information, I suggest checking the official Navy news source or outlet. Building a large submarine, such as a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier or a ballistic missile submarine, involves a complex and multi-stage production process. The United States Navy owns several shipyards and facilities where these submarines are built, primarily operated by General Dynamics Electric Boat in Newport New Shipbuilding.